How's it going gurus and welcome to the IR Gurus channel. My name is Nick and we are back here today to discuss emails and inbound emails uh, and parsing emails and all of the email things. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, dive straight into this. All right, so uh, if we jump into, again, starting from the administrative settings uh, and then jumping over to the organization tab, this actually allows you to build your inbound email connections. Um, so what we can do here is we can actually click on the inbound connections and you can see that I've already got one set up. But what we're going to do here today is I am going to delete this and we are going to add it again so that you guys can see how to do this. So your page is going to look like this. And what we're going to do is we are going to jump into the connection setting here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to fill out all of this information. Um, so let's go ahead and start to populate this information. All right. So first we're going to give this thing a name and I'll call this sword demo email. And then what I will do is I don't have to give it a description. If you want to give it a description, great. Um, I'm going to assign it to IMAP because I will be using IMAP here from Outlook.com. And then what we're going to do is the host name, specifically for Outlook, is outlook.office365.com. Port number they use is 993. And then, of course, enter in your email address here. I'll enter in mine. And then, of course, after you enter in your email address, you'll need to enter in your password. Now, of course, I am filling this out as IMAP, but of course, if you're using an Exchange um, email address, uh, such as either Exchange Online or um, Exchange within your own environment, you can, of course, log in that way. You also have the ability to use OAuth to log in if you're using the, uh, the Microsoft Online platform. Of course, if you want to add a folder, maybe a specific folder that's get, getting filtered out for SOAR emails, you can add that. Um, this one is specifically for SOAR, so I'm not going to add that folder, um, but that is up to you to add if you want. Um, and then last but not least, you have to select your type of encryption, uh, which it looks like Outlook Online uses TLS. Um, so we will stick with the SSL TLS. And after we get all of this information here filled out, we can save and test connection. All right, so now it is saved and tested and we are working here. We can see that we are connected. Um, so now where do we get the emails from? Uh, so those emails, any email that comes into that inbox is going to get picked up and actually dropped in your inbox within the platform. That inbox, if you have permissions to it, is up here um, on the inbox tab here. And you can see that I have a couple of emails that have already come in. Um, these ones specifically from myself, sent to myself. So you can see that I'm already pulling in emails as in the system. Now, what we can do to parse out these emails is we can build a, a script, a parsing script, and then a rule to actually assign to those scripts. At this point, Playbooks is not, uh, does not have the capability of doing any kind of automation with the uh, emails, but we can still do it the old fashioned way if we come out to customiza or customization settings. We can write a script over here. So you can see that I have an email parser script that I've just been writing here. Um, and that will give you the ability to parse emails out, um, put emails into different locations, um, or put information in this, those emails into different locations, and even associate those emails to certain types of incidents. Um, so the way that we would do that, uh, do the association to other incidents, is right here. I'll just highlight this for you. Um, so essentially what I'm doing here is I'm checking to see if the, the, uh, if the subject has a uh, incident ID in it. Um, so this is gonna be a little different, um, but what you guys can focus on right here is this one. We're gonna do a query builder. 
which takes some information from that email. It's going to do a query into the uh, system to look for an email with this. So we're assigning, we're checking the fields of all of the incidents for an incident ID of whatever we provided over here. You can of course do this for anything that you want to, any of the fields that you want to. Um, once you build that query, then you uh, actually, or once you create the query, then you build the query. And then after you build that query, you use the helper find incidents function to search uh, or to give it that query and search for that incident. If no incident comes back, um, then uh, then you this will fail for you, of course. Um, but what you can do here is once you get any incidents back, you can pass a certain incident. Uh, maybe you might have a list of incidents. So you can, of course, write your script to define how you want to, or which incident you want to uh, assign that to, um, but you just then hand it to the email message um, function and the associate with incident, and then you give it the incident that you're wanting to associate it with, and it'll do the rest for you. Of course, if you don't have an email, or if you don't have an incident that you're going to associate this with, and you just want to create a new incident, what we'll do is this line of code right here, which uses that same email message function to create an associated incident. You give it, the first one is going to be the name of the incident. So I just pass the subject of the email to it. And then of course, the who it's assigned to. Um, now what we can do here, uh, I'm not gonna go over all of the ins and outs of building the code. Um, but what I can do is point you in the direction of the knowledge base. And let's jump over to that real quick. All right, and I will leave a link to this in the description below. Uh, but this is the email message operations. And this is essentially where you can start to see what's available to you when you're parsing out the email that has been pulled in by the, uh, by the collection tool. So what we're gonna do here is we can see that email message is of course going to start that out. So when I was in here and I did something like email message right here, um, that's me using the operator email message. And then I'm gonna do something from there. So up here, you can actually see that I am parsing out everything in the incident that might be important, such as the headers, the sender, uh, who, it's, who it was sent to, um, who was CC'd on it, uh, the subject of it, when it was sent, when it was received, the body of the actual email, and any attachments that were listed there. Um, so the way that I get this information is through this section here. Um, so I've got, of course, like I said, my operator, and then any of the operations themselves, uh, or the function, I guess we'd call this, and then any of the operations within the function. Um, so we can see here's where we're going to grab the attachments and then it gives you some information on the array over here that you're going to get, of course, the body that you're going to get, uh, and then you can start to come down through and see all of these. Now I will note one thing um, which has been put in to uh, request a change, and I think this is a Python 2, Python 3 difference, but in here, you see I got Python 3. When I want to grab who sent the email, I'm actually using sender, not from. From does not work any longer. I think that that was a Python 2 thing, and now when they moved to Python 3, they changed it to sender. So I have gone in and changed that um, in my script, um, and then I also did request the, the change in here. So you will see this get changed hopefully here soon um, when they update that. Um, but you can start to see, here's the, the associate with incidents, and it explains what you can do to find an incident that you want to associate it with. And then if you want to create an incident, you can s create that name and the owner handle. And then uh, essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build this association early on in your script. So you can see I built this fairly early here. And then after that, I'm building where I'm going to uh, do my incident and then add email attachment or incident and add artifact. I have to do that after I build that association so it knows what I, or where I'm putting that incident data. 
So the incident data is created once I have that association. Off after that, uh, of course, what we're gonna have to do is jump here into rules and then we'll create an automatic rule. Um, and we can create this automatic rule as a email message. And then we can, of course, say when an email message is created, so that means when it gets populated in this inbox, um, then I want it to do something. Or of course, if you want to start specifying, maybe you're gonna have multiple parsing emails or uh, multiple parsing scripts that you're gonna wanna use. Some of those scripts, you may actually want to uh, assign a, maybe they're coming in from a certain location. Um, so you, you may look for an address or something like that, uh, maybe the sender address or something. Um, so you can start to define when you want those automation parsers to run. Um, of course, after you define your condition for running that, then you will come down here and you will add run. You'll say run script and then whatever your email parser is, you'll want to find that in there and you'll run that script every time an email message comes in. So that's how you build out uh, an email parser and the email ingestion system here in SOAR. So I hope this help you, helps you guys out moving forward as you guys build out your SOAR environment. If this video is giving you, is, is helping you at all, um, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And then if you have any questions that you would like to see um, in a video, feel free to comment below. I always enjoy the feedback seeing that I get from, from all you gurus. So I hope to see you guys next time and that'll be it for today. See you guys.